another Animal Crossing video in this series of Animal Crossing and or the game. We basically are starting where we left off. And that was our news from Isabel Bell. We're still saving to get a bigger house, hopefully. But first, let's go check the mail. We're going to go through a little daily routine. And then I'm going to show how I started creating the dress. Master's mail. Door in pocket. Door in pocket. So first... We have to go inside the house to put the new decoration in. I collected a, a lot of KK slider songs. Yes. Oh wait, I have to open these first. to find somewhere to place the switch. For now we can just put it over there. Let's see what's on the phone. Decorator. Okay, so what I like to do in the daily routine of saving bells for anything like buying a house if you just started the game um, is basically take advantage of your resources. Like for me I've grown a little garden over here and I like to pick up the flowers when they're ready. Sometimes the oranges as well, you could, or any fruit you have on your island. Sometimes you could look at the tasks for nuka miles, for example, group stretching, or sell clumps of weed, or talk to your neighbors. So we're going to be doing that after we sell these products and see what's in the new cranny shop. So first let's go talk with our neighbors. I love Lily. Lily's like my favorite villager. She's always singing. <laughs> Okay. Where did... There you go. 
We accomplish one of our missions. Next is cell complete, which usually I leave this island a little bit stranded, so we collect the clump wave. Group stretch. But first, let's collect the income that we gained from the last time of the build. Sometimes you could get stuff from here and then just sell it in the box to gain money. Enough to buy another Godzilla statue, which I am really happy about because I honestly am obsessed with these statues, they are just so cool. Always look at Nook Shopping just to see what they have, if they have anything interesting. I always get one of the KK Slayer because it just started becoming like a collection basically, and they're not that expensive. So let's go. Look for and um, sell the objects that we just collected from the lost and found, or given away like donation. I don't know what that is called. It's just easy money. And now next is a group workout.
So, if I have, like, tools from my past missions that I don't need to use at the current moment, what I like to do is use them up till they are no longer being able to use and then craft, like, stuff from it. So, for example, we have a flimsy shovel. We're just going to start hanging the rocks to get minerals. Shadow hunting is also another way to easily gain money for. Um, sometimes there's these little like clams, I guess you could say, that goes under the sand and you, like these things that squirt out the sand. Yeah, so a clam. And so what you could do with it is make fish food and whenever you're fishing it'll attract the fish easier than normally when you fish on Animal Crossing. So let's go to the crafts table. Actually, first let's check if there's any rocks on this island so we could dig more stuff. Nope. For now, 
we could put that away. We could put uh, that in the storage layer. That's one of these ones. So that was just an easy way to do also gain money. Also, if it's perfect, your Nuke Miles mission, you get the miles for it. So first let's sell more stuff. Some steel. Basically going to sell everything. They have anything. This is neat. Not for that price. Interesting, or that we would want to buy. So, for the last like 10 minutes, I wanted to give a little description how I made this dress, and the once you advance to the village, you get more like if it's what to put on the phone so I got pro design and start making this dress and so you use like a pencil a circle a heart shape just to basically I made like the little bear designs that had like little symbols that kind of represented the logo of this channel. So we are going to now focus on the back side. And basically repeat what we did up in the front. So First step, we want to use this round shape and basically create the head.
You don't want to create to the point where it's really close because then they're going all mush together. And so now we're going to make tinier circles and then edit a little bit the design. So they actually look like ears and not random like mistakes. Also, while we have this little circle saying, we can create the face by lightly, well, very small movements to create like the inner part of the face. long time but I'm trying to speed through it a little bit actually I'll fix that later probably by the next video I'm going to try to fix my outfit a little bit because right now it's all in chaos And now we just use a pencil and start fixing whatever mistake we made. Next is the eyes. So for this one, we just simply do two, three black and one white to create like the little pupils. nose and then do repeat that the rest of them. Actually they don't look so bad so we don't have to edit the ears that much. Um, I know this has to be a little bit farther, but it's going to do the same where it connects to the eyes. We're going to do this so it's more. What we want to go for. There we go, so we may finish the main part of this. So next we're going to do the little cheeks of like the logo design. So we're gonna put the green on the 
right cheek. And then right on the left cheek. And voila, we finished the back. By the next video, I should be able to finish the sleeves so you guys can see the final product. And that should be all. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and comment down below if you want any more of these videos and any suggestions of what to do in the next video. Bye!